few different ways um, to look at this, all right? First of all, this is saying f of h of 8, all right? So there's two different ways I want to look at this. The first way is just to figure out what h of 8 is, right? This is your innermost function. So let's go and evaluate for h of 8. So if I know that h of x is equal to x squared plus x minus 1, h of 8, we're just going to plug the 8 in for the x, right? Correct? Yes? 56, so therefore we get 55. So we could say h of 8. Oh, it's plus. I don't know why I was thinking. You're right, 73. I'm getting like my minus and my plus is all confused. Um, yes, it says 64 plus 8, which would be 72. And then minus 1 is going to be 71. OK? Let's put that away. The book. OK, so, so we could say h of 8 is going to equal 71. Now, once we know what h of 8 is, it's saying find f of h of 8. That means we're going to plug h of 8 into my function f of x. So what we could say is f of h of 8 is equal to my f of x function, which is 3 times h of 8. Well, we just figured out h of 8 is equal to 71. So that equals 3 times 71, right? So we have 142, and we have 233. 13. 13. 13. 13. Do I guess I was just making up? 142. 200. What was that again? Why am I? 200 and 213. 213. Thank you. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm losing my mind. All right. So that is our one method. Yes, do you have a question? OK. Um, so now the other way that we can look at this is you could also just evaluate this for at the end. So what we could also do is just evaluate for h of x in for g of x, and then go ahead and evaluate. So the other possible way that you guys could look at this is rather than figuring out what h of x is, just do h of x and then or of 8. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to evaluate just for h, what h of x equals. Well, h of x is going to be um, 3 times x squared plus x minus 1, which equals 3x squared plus 3x minus 3. And then you can evaluate for the 8, which would be 3, 8 squared plus 3 times 8 minus 3, which is also going to equal your answer. Okay. So just another way you could also evaluate you can plug one function into the other and then evaluate for 8 as well. So just two different opportunities. I think this is obviously um, the quicker method. But just to know that you guys can work on it either way. And this is where the things happen again. All right.